Hey everyone, today we're going to do a tutorial. This one I think is going to be the most important tutorial and it's going to be on uh, list manipulation. List manipulation I feel is the most important lesson and is what really got me um, kind of understanding Grasshopper a lot better. So I feel this is the absolute most important tutorial so please listen up on this one if you really want to understand Grasshopper. This is one of the tutorials that will really help you out understand and this will help me understand. Uh, how Grasshopper works. So I will go over right now. So for right now, uh, go in top view in Grass. Uh, not Grass. Go in top view in Rhino, so you can understand um, kind of how it works. It makes it a little easier for this tutorial. So just go in top view. Do not do perspective, please. It's a little weird on perspective. So what we're going to do is do a construct point. So we're basically going to construct a point in the center of here. Construct point. And right now. Everything is set at zero. If we hover over, it'll tell me locally defined zero, zero, zero. But for the sake of clarity and for people learning, I will put the zeros in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move. Because I wanna move this point along here. But I also wanna do a series at the same time. Because the reason why I do a series, I want a series of points along the x-axis. So my motion is in the x, and I'm going to do a series, and there we go, 1. And these are already preset to 1 and 10, that's just the default, but I'm going to put them here anyways, so we can change it if we really want to. So now we have move, so... <clears throat> You do move here. So we're going to move it up in the y-axis as well. So we're going to move this here. And what we're going to do is do y. So you don't have to do this part um, on Grasshopper. I just want you guys to understand this part. So I'm going to do 5 real quick here. I just want you to understand this part. This, sorry, this part. Um, so if we pull down a panel, literally you can just... I usually just go to primitives and pull it down. It says it's so easy, you only have to type it. It's harder typing panel and then doing it. So I plug it in here and I'm gonna show you, read off the information this thing has. So right now, <clears throat> it's just listing off the points from zero through nine. So what this black bar, or zero through nine, zero counts as a number by the way in Grasshopper, so technically it's one through 10. But anyways, this is, this black bar on top is considered, it's called a branch, and these parts are the kind of, the they're not the branch, there's what's within the branches. So, <clears throat> this is important to understand because if you want, let's, let's say I want a grid of these, a grid of points, um, a grid of points in the y direction. So right now I just kind of moved it up five, so nothing really happened, right? It's all reading all fine. But let's say I want a grid of points. Let's say I want a point in between each one of these areas, right? So I want I want this basically take this kind of highlight area that I have right now in Rhino and series it along the y-axis. Uh, so let's try that right now, actually, and I'll show you what happens. We'll do a series. We'll plug that in here. And as you can see, it makes this diagonal. And we don't want that. We're like, what, what's that for, right? We want a gridding of it. It should technically, if you think about it logically, it's going to move all that stuff that you did, the resulting geometry in the y-axis um, with the distance of one inch ten times. That See, so it doesn't really make sense logically. Why is it making this diagonal? But this uh, panel will tell, give you all the answers. So basically it's saying, right now the panel is saying here, the it's under one branch, which is important. Branches are important. And... You're going to have one, two, three, four. So it's all under one branch. So what it means is it's going to read all the geometry as one. So it's going to start doing one here. And then the next branch, there's no branch. So it's just going to keep going up one. And it's going to keep going up one. Keep going up one. So it's seriesing it. It's doing a series correctly, but diagonally, which is not what we wanted. So I want a grid of them. So what I'm going to do is you're going to create the branches. So the branches... Uh, will define how much you want to move it. So it'll kind of correlate it. So if you do graph tree, and I'm going to plug this into the graph tree, and I'm going to pull out another panel, and I'm going to show you guys this. 
So visually, I think you guys will it'll really click just visually understanding. So you can see it changed it from all being under one branch to all having separate branches. As you can see, even in the description it says, graft a data tree by adding extra branch for every item. So it gives every single item a branch, which is amazing. So that's what we want. And look what happens when we plug it in. It creates a grid of points, which is exactly what we want. So we... I don't need to do this. Um, we're gonna. I'm just gonna keep it moved up at five, so I can just delete this stuff real quick, real quickly. And then, um, what's it? No, I'm gonna connect that there, and then do five. I'm just gonna plug these in real quick. The geometry goes back in here, and I'm gonna keep the panel here. So right now, I want to draw kind of a line, just vertically like this. Which should be easy, right? Really, it's just the bottom points and the top points. That's all you would need. So just to make a line, you would just type in line. And there's two lines, right? You're like, which one? This one, this line is not the line you want. This is the line you want. This one is a grasshopper line. The other line is a line from Rhino. So it, it says orange because it's an empty line parameter. And the only way to do that is to add a line from Rhino. And I'll go over that in the tutorial. But for right now, use this line right here. So I'm going to plug in my start point, which is the bottom ports and end points. So as you can see, it just makes these vertical bars. So that's pretty uninteresting, but we learned something, right? So right now, we pull out a panel. It'll tell us we have a bunch of lines, like five inches, and we have ten of them. So cool. Not very interesting. So. What happens if we want all these lines on the top to go to one point? Let's say I want it to this point right here. What we're going to do to do that is we're going to take these top points, these are the top points, and we're going to do a, and I'm actually going to hide this real quick because we don't need this, so there you go. We're going to do a list item, and this will basically... Uh, re retrieve a specific item from that list. So what it, what a list is, is this. This is a list. This is also a list. That graft, that graft uh, things I showed you, thing I showed you before is also a list. So anything that's contained within these panels is a list. That's exactly what a list is. So retrieve an item from a specific item from a list. So how to retrieve one? You're like, okay, cool. I know that now. I know that this is a list, <clears throat> but how do I get data off of this? This doesn't make any sense to me. How do I get data off of this? So as you can see, there's numbers alongside here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm actually going to drag a panel out here and put this in here. Same thing here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these actually correspond with the index, which the index is basically saying, uh, the index is saying um, what point you want to pull out. This is saying which list do you want to, what's the base list, where do you want to pull it off of. And you're going to be like, okay, I want this list. And then you're going to say the index. The index is basically saying which point do you want to focus on. So I want to focus on point 1. Because remember, 0 is considered a number, so this is 0 and this is 1. Now you can technically just guess where the point is at but I already know it since these panels but if you didn't have the panels right now it's highlighting this one you can kind of use let's do this by real quick it will show um, if you click this and then you use the number slider you can kind of start playing around with which point you want and I'm actually going to keep it at that real quick so one <clears throat> I'm just going to keep it consistent what I want I remember I wanted that point and what happens if we draw a line now It's the start point and the end point. So that I see everything is grouped up to that line. So what happens if I just start dragging? So let's say I want it to, I'm like, no, I don't want it at that point anymore. I kind of want it at, let's say, this point. So I'm going to start dragging it and it'll be right there. You can kind of play around with the slider too. It's kind of cool actually. It looks really cool. So 10 is 0 because there's no 10. So if you loop around, it'll just go back to 0 and then kind of loop back over. So 10 is 0, technically, because as you can see, the panel is just 1 through 9. 
Oh no, sorry, excuse me, zero through nine. So. So yeah, that's it for this part of the tutorial. Um, I'll go over um, some more. List manipulation is definitely not over. And um, we're going to dive deeper into this. So I'll see you guys soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And hope you guys see you in the next tutorial.